Hey, Jeff Jantz here at Jantzer Studios, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made these wagon wheels. I built this wagon for a play called The Trail to Oregon. The play was originally by Star Kid, but we did a version here in Hamtramck, Michigan. I did a whole nother video about how I made the wagon itself, and you can check that out if you're interested. But this video is just about how I made the wheels. This wheel is gonna be round, but it's gonna start as an octagon. So first, I'm going to lay out a circle on some cardboard, the exact size that I want the finished wheel to be. Then divide that up into eight sections. That way I can figure out what one side of the octagon will be. In this case, it ended up as 11 inches. I'm using scrap lumber from wooden pallets, so I ran each piece through the table saw to make sure they're all the same width. Then I set up a stop on my miter box with a 22 and half degree cut, set my miter box to 22 and half degrees, and began cutting. The trick here is to just make sure you flip each time you cut. Cut, flip, cut, flip, cut, flip, until I had 16 pieces all together. Now it's time to glue them together. I'm just gonna put a little glue on each end and then use this tie strap to clamp them together until everything sets up. For the center hubs of the wheels, I just cut out two circles using a five inch hole saw on my drill press. But they came out pretty rough. So I stuck a bolt through them and chucked them up in the drill press. Then I used a rasp and a sanding block to smooth them out a little bit. I let the glue on the octagon set up for an entire day and sanded them down quickly with the orbital sander and then sanded the inside with the spindle sander. Now I wanted my wagon wheels to look a little bit more like a fancy rim or a mag wheel. So I'm only doing four spokes and what I did is I cut one end at 22 and a half degrees measured in a little bit from the edge, and then used the shape of the octagon to kind of guide where they would go. I tried to measure really carefully so that I could get the rim as close to center as possible. So this is my favorite trick for cutting circles using a table saw. You can start with a square or an octagon, whatever you want. The main thing is you got this sled that slides back and forth in the groove on the table saw. Stick that in there so that it lines up right next to the blade. Then you measure from the blade to the center of the radius, which in this case is about 12 and an eighth. Put a little pin in there. Then you stick your piece on there, right through the little peg, and you're ready to go. Check this out. Now, if you've ever used a table saw, you already know that a table saw was really meant to cut things that are straight. So this can be a little bit dangerous. But basically what you do is you start by cutting off the corners. Make sure that you only turn the wheel when you pull it all the way back past the blade. If you drag the wheel across the blade from the back to the front, it's liable to throw it at you. And that's no fun. This takes a while. You basically just have to keep running it through, cutting off the points over and over again until it starts to look like a circle. The scrap pieces get smaller and smaller as you go. So it's basically just sawdust. Once it gets to that point, you can hold the sled steady and then spin the wheel just to clean up the edges. You want to adjust it a couple of times just to try to make sure you got everything. Once it was cut, I just used my orbital sander and spun the wheel around just to kind of clean up the edges and give it a little bit of a bevel. There we go, a perfect circle with a nice smooth clean edge. I'm really happy with how these wheels turned out. I hope this video was helpful or at the very least interesting. Please check out the full video of how I made the entire wagon and also subscribe. I don't post videos regularly, but when I do post, hopefully there's something that you enjoy. All right, see you in the next one.